Minister of Music is what most people call me. They address me as a Minister of Music. And I've been there for 40 years. As a kid, we lived up in these mountains in a little community called Sadio. And the church, says, the church there was Saint Isidore, San Isidro Labrador. And I sang uh, with, a, with a leading group there, a cappello. It was all a cappello. And we did a lot of the old, old alabados, which we don't do anymore because we have all this modern music. But uh, after around the 50s, uh, we started getting an organist. It was difficult to get an organist and uh, we would rent an organist and we started doing uh, music with the organ. And then later on when Vatican II came in and uh, we went to the guitars and other musical instruments, violins, accordions and so on, and it appears that uh, most churches today do not want the organ music. They, they want the guitars and the other, other music instruments. My mother had a beautiful soprano voice and my father was some kind of a tenor voice. And as I was growing up, they would sing the alabados because we used to pray the rosary every evening uh, with the family. And many of the alabados were sang by my dad and my mom and uh, uncles and, and, and aunts. and the community that got together. We would have the rosary one evening at my house and then the next evening at the neighbor's house and we would go around the community. And uh, I was very impressed with the way my mother and my father and many of the older uh, generations sang these alabados. Very, very impressed. And, and from them uh, I learned. That's all we had at the time that I was growing up was alabados and uh, I don't think uh, that there was any music written to these alabados. It was just we had the tune and I, we sang them a cappella. Oh Maria, Madre Mia, oh Consuelo del Mortal, ampararme y guiarme a la patria celestial, ampararme y guiarme a la patria celestial. And I've been told that this song was written in the 16th century, but it's still a very popular Merriam song that uh, we sing a lot in the month of May. Uh, you know that during um, Holy Thursday, they had what they called a morada, where we prayed like all afternoon. And I was told, and I don't even know if I remember the tune, of a song that had 42 verses called The Passion of Jesus Christ. 
in, in Spanish. I don't even know if I could remember the, the tune today or uh, even the words. I have it in an old book somewhere because I have tons and tons of music. But I was asked as a little boy uh, to sing that song, The Passion of Jesus Christ. I would sing the verses and they would sing the refrain or the chorus. So if it was uh, 43, um, well, that make it 86 or, or, or uh, 80 some uh, verses because they were repeating the refrain or, or the chorus. So that could take a long time. Well, it took, I, I would say, every bit of an hour, I would think. And then after I finished, they always gave me a glass of orange juice with some cookies <laughs> for singing that many verses, but they loved it. And, uh, and I enjoyed doing that. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios, los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. I think that if we sing like Immaculate Mary or in Spanish, del cielo ha bajado. This is a Miriam song that to me it brings our troubled youth of today together because um, our Blessed Mother will extend her arms and bring all this youth together with a song, with that particular song. Can you sing a couple more verses? Well, it's uh, Immaculate, let Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. And then the Spanish version is the same words except in Spanish. Alleluia.